Welcome back to this video tutorial series, Laravel Blog VU. In our last video, we were able to inject VU into the front end and section it into two components, which are the component that houses the posts and the sidebar. In this video, we are going to bind the data from the back end to the front end straight away. First of all, what I want to do is to create a controller so that we don't use the controller that the back end is also using as well. In case if we need to do some other things like a few more logics i'll just create a controller i'll call it blog controller and in that blog controller it will essentially have all the things that i need to do on the front end so so this is the block controller and the block controller contains things like get all blog posts get post by id because we're going to need it to get the details about one particular post uh, we get all the categories we display them on the sidebar we get all posts by categories and then we can search post as well and then we can get latest post if we need to okay so that is done the next thing we need to do remember is we we should update our routes to pick up all these methods in this controller uh, so let's open up our routes and update so with all those methods that i've just written these are their routes and each of them doing what they are supposed to do okay we have the slash blog post that will get us all blog posts slash category to get us all category to get the post by category to search and to get the latest post and that's it you can essentially begin to pull out data meant for the front end for vu to handle now let's proceed to doing just that this is where we're going to be doing most of the work public home let's go into the sidebar side sidebar okay in the sidebar it's a script okay um let's give this name as blog sidebar let me just remind you that we already have our store in one of our previous videos and in our store we can see that there is something called get categories there's also what you call all categories so what I want to pull out is this all categories from the store. So there's there's a hook from Vu called computed, and that's where I'll be doing all categories. And this should just return this dot store. dot getters dot all categories we just have to ensure that the names match and on mounted fetch me fetch me all categories as well and with that we should have something to check up on okay let's ensure that that is um, working there is a vu chrome plugin that you can use to debug your vu project so let's take a reload on this page and see let's check what is going on on the blog sidebar as you can see all the categories are now available and you have 22 of them i can go ahead now and just bind these categories right away and what i'll just do is to take off all these ones and take off the anchor tag as well and write a for loop on this and 
all categories and make the key cat.id and here we can now go further to say cat.name and that should settle it now let's take a reload on that and yes we have it so these are our categories from the db competing business blah 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 up to the last one we added which was tech so we'll do the same thing for the posts so i'll bind on this div now so this is v4 posts in all posts key is post dot id okay and this is the category we need just one so i'll take this one off and leave this other one and the name here is post dot category dot name this should be the title post dot title This should be the user dot name as well. And this should be the date created. So post dot created at and we have um, a time format filter. If you haven't forgotten, this lastly should be the post dot description. And with that, I think now we should have twelve posts on. And yes we do we have a category called business like you can see it here another account called computing and these are the posts on these categories so yes our work is done we've successfully been able to create our blog without any content management system coding from scratch and we managing it by ourselves creating a post on the back end and making it display on the front end and this is the end of this tutorial series in subsequent videos still in this series i'll be explaining the reasons why we did some certain things that we skipped or that we overlooked in the course of this tutorial so stay tuned see you in the next explainer video